Good afternoon, everyone. Eric Morrow here to report the area news for WJSQ WLAR. Brought to you by Farmers Insurance, a Donnie Gaddis agency. Well, the vice mayor of a Tennessee city and two others have been charged in an alleged food stamp fraud conspiracy. The Knoxville News Sentinel reports a grand jury issued an 80 count indictment against Lafayette Vice Mayor Joseph David Bollinger and Jennifer Lynn Brown and Jimmy Ivey. This week, the three were arrested Wednesday. 68-year-old Bollinger, 34-year-old Brown, and 62-year-old Ivy each have been charged with fraudulent recipient of food assistance. Ivy also is charged with 70 counts of theft, less than $1,000. Campbell County Sheriff Robbie Gowen says Ivy and Brown gave cash for items they had bought with EBT cards at the store and sold them for profit. Authorities haven't said how Bollinger was involved at this point. They are set to appear in court on June 18th. The newspaper did not report if they had any lawyers at this time. A man who was added to the TBI's most top 10 wanted list on Monday is now in custody after being captured in Granger County. Peters was wanted by the Bean Station Police Department and Tennessee Bureau of Investigation to face charges of first degree murder in connection to a homicide that occurred on June 2nd in Granger County. Tuesday evening, officers with the Bean Station Police Department located Peters hiding inside a relative's home at Ned Clark Road. He was taken into custody without incident and transported to Granger County Jail. A district attorney's office in Tennessee says it won't seek the death penalty for a man accused of fatally shooting a woman wounding six people at a Tennessee church in September. Nashville District Attorney Glenn Funk's office announced its plan Thursday to instead seek a sentence of life without parole for the 26-year-old Emmanuel Sampson. He faces 43 count, a 43 count indictment in the Burnett Chapel Church of Christ shooting in Nashville, including first degree murder, attempted murder, and felony civil, charge, civil rights and intimidation charges. Arrest affidavit says Simmons waived his rights to told police he arrived armed and fired at Burnett. The prosecutor's office says Sampson could face additional sentencing for the remaining 42 counts. Well, here's some community announcements that are taking place. James Rogers will be the headliner for the 2018 Sweet Corn Festival in Inglewood on Saturday, June 30th. The festival is presented by CAGE, Community Action Group of Inglewood. The mission is free. There will be a 5K run slash walk, artisan and craft vendors, food, bounce houses, and an antique tractor show with much more including community-wide church service at 6 p.m. Sunday, July 1st at the Inglewood Church of God. The E.G. Fisher Library of Athens uh, Children Advocacy Center are partnering to bring the darkness to light, stewards of children's sexual abuse training to area families. The free training will be Monday, June 11th at 5.30 p.m. You can call 745-7782 to register for that training. You can hear the local, regional, and state news on WJSQ-FM 101.7 Monday through Saturday at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., noon, and 5 p.m. WJSQ News can also be heard here on the WJSQ YouTube channel Monday through Friday every evening with the top stories of today's headlines. You can see, if you want if you see news happening or you just want to let us know about a community event that's taking place, you can reach us by the following email address. That's news n e w s at w j s q w l a r dot com. This is Eric Morrow reporting the evening news. Y'all have a great evening.